what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to bitcoin daily today we are doing a midweek news update on what's going on right now with uh the pricing you guys are probably wondering why bitcoin took such a dump today if we go ahead and look over here at the chart let me let me move my face out the way real quick hold on boom there we go um if we go ahead and look at coin market cap today you will see that a lot there's a lot a lot of red over here um so uh bitcoin moved down about 1.2 percent um ethereum down about one percent uh xrp one and a half so there's a lot of red guys a lot of red um polka dots is chilling though but uh but we moved back down to the 10,600 range after yet again testing that 11,000 range so you can see on the chart here we hit the same uh level right here so we kind of double topped right here at the moment um so that's something that could have also been part of the reason why we broke this support over here um so currently we have dropped we topped out at about let me see today we went to 10,980 so we basically hit that 11,000 mark um, and right as we got close to there we got this news that basically dumped this the market down dumped everything that basically so uh, you're probably wondering what is going on so one of the major things that happened today in the Bitcoin market was this right here uh, the CFTC charges BitMEX with illegally operating an unregistered trading platform. All right, guys, as you guys know, BitMEX is one of the biggest platforms in the Bitcoin market. Um, so it, it definitely caused a lot of uh, fear and uncertainty. And, uh, and it, that always affects the price because people are probably trying to get out of positions and taking their money out of BitMEX just in case to be safe. Um, as you guys can see here, I'm going to just kind of go over what, what this says. Um, the U.S. Commodity Future Trading Commission has charged the owners of BitMEX with operating an unregistered trading platform um, and violating multiple CFTC regulations, including failing to meet required AML procedures. According to the lawsuit, five entities and three individuals were charged with, which include Arthur Hayes, the co-founder and CEO of BitMEX, Ben Dello, ben Dello the exchange's co-founder, and Samuel Reed, its co-founder and CTO. Um, the CFTC files a civil inform enforcement action against BitMEX. BitMEX is one of the largest cryptocurrencies in the world, which has found itself at the receiving end of a lawsuit from the CFTC. The U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission has announced that it filed a civil enforcement action charging five entities and three individuals that own a BitMEX trading platform with operating an unregistered trading platform and violating multiple CFTC regulations such as failing to implement the, the required anti-money -mo laundering procedures. According to the official C CFTC filing, the charges were made against the five entities and three individuals that own and operate BitMEX. Um, the company's name in the lawsuit are HDR Global Trading Limited, 100X Holding Limited, ABS Global Trading Limited, Shine Effort Inc. Limited, and HDR Global Services uh, Limited. Um, Arthur Hayes, which is the CEO and founder of BitMEX, was also charged as were the exchanges, others co-founder, and um, who currently serve at the, as a company's uh you know the head of the companies so bitmex now faces a legal battle with the cftc the cftc alleges that bitmex has received more than 11 billion dollars guys 11 billion dollars in bitcoin deposits and made more than 1 billion dollars in fees while conducting significant aspects of its business from the u.s and accepting orders and funds from u.s customers like us. <laughs> As such, it's required to follow the country's strict AML and KYC procedures, which the CFTC claims BitMEX failed to do. 
Um, so I, uh, I think this is from the CFTC. Effective anti-money laundering procedures are among the fundamental requirements of intermediaries in the derivatives market, whether in traditional product or in the grow growing digital asset market, said James McDonald, the director of the Division of Enforcement's Digital Asset and Bank Secretary Act Task Force. This action shows the SFTC will continue to work vigilantly to protect the integrity of these markets. According to the filing, the CFTC will seek disgorgement of ill-gotten gains, civil monetary penalties, restitution for the benefit of customers, permanent registration and trading bans, and a permanent injunction from future violations of the Commodity Exchange Act. So that's pretty serious guys it's it's definitely sounds pretty serious and if you go ahead and look over here at bitmex's blog they did write a blog on this um so here it says in response to the reports of the u.s commodity futures trading commission and department of justice decision to file against hdr global trading limited and related parties we have the following statement so this is their, their official statement we strongly disagree with the U.S. government's heavy-handed decision to bring these charges and intend to defend the allegations vigorously. From our early days as a startup, we have always sought to comply with applicable U.S. laws and as those laws were understood at the time and based on available guidance. In the meantime, BitMEX platform is operating entirely as normal and all funds are safe. To allay any potential customer concerns, pending withdrawal requests were processed at 1745 UTC in line with our standard procedures. We will process another off-cycle withdrawal at 8 uh, o'clock UTC um, October 2nd, 2020 and then 13 UTC as usual. So um, as you guys see here, uh, BitMEX is planning on fighting um, the filings um and the allegations and they're continuing with business as usual as for us and anyone using the platform so um they do say that your funds are safe and there should be nothing to worry about so anyone any of you guys i know a lot of you trade on bitmex um your funds should be safe but just keep an eye out you have to be ready just in case anything happens um so then here we're looking at uh as as you know on our chart so we dumped pretty hard but it started bouncing back over here slowly so let's look at this report here um bitcoin traders have begun recovering from thursday's bombshell indictments from the cftc and doj against bitmex and the exchange's co-founders i don't want to read all the names again um, so Bitcoin initially dropped 4% from roughly 10,800 on BitMEX futures on the news, a relatively modest move for typically volatile cryptocurrency market. Early last month, for example, Bitcoin made three conse consecutive 7 to 8% dips September 2nd through 3rd after trading above 11,000 for the first time this year. So, um, so the drop was actually from beyond that, but that's okay. Um, but as you can see, uh, it's it's definitely coming back up right now. Um, there was some expected negative price action following the disappoint the, the dissipation of the Bitmex lawsuit, but the market has seem seemingly settled a few percent down from where it was beforehand. Alternate cryptocurrencies followed Bitcoin's lead Thursday afternoon, with the decentralized finance sector of altcoins dropping less than three percent over the past 24 hours. Uh, Thursday is historically the most volatile day of the week, according to cryptocurrency research, but it's not yet clear whether the market as a whole decides the impact we've already seen is sufficient. Uh, at last check, Bitcoin has retraced almost half of its intraday dip as buyers pushed the price from 10450 to 10580 which is more or less where it's at currently right now. The market's immediate reaction Thursday may only be the uh, precursor cursor the precursor to more volatility however um, we'll see how the markets are that that are currently mostly asleep react I'd expect 
increased potential for volatility as more people are able to react. If Thursday's minor dip cascades into a larger sell-off, it's going to be a buying opportunity, like we always say. Um, whatever gets liquidated will get liquidated and the markets will reposition and start growing again. As traders react to the news, the exchange assured its customers that the BitMEX platform is operating entirely as normal and all funds are safe. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically it there for that. So yeah, guys, it's been kind of a crazy Thursday. Um, we kind of broke our our trend line that we were using here as you guys can see we were using this trend line this yellow one and it was working very well um, but because of the news it caused a sell-off which caused this trend line to break so right now we're, we're waiting to see if we can get right back above this trend line which is currently at around the set the 10,720 price range so we can continue this and just kind of forget that this ever happened you know what I mean that's usually what I'm trying to do um, so we did we did see a bounce here currently we're trading at 10,568 um, if I'm looking for an entry the the points of interest for me right now are is 10,600 that's a vital level as you guys can see here 10,600 has, has played uh, major parts in trading as support and resistance levels um, so if we can get on top of this 10,600 level uh, I would be looking for a breakout entry above that with my first target being 10,800 which is this line up here uh, and my second target being 11,000 which is up here where we got rejected today um, so yeah that's what I'm looking at as far as Bitcoin right now um, I will do a full market analysis tomorrow on Friday uh, but just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what was going on and why the the price was so volatile today and why it dropped so uh, I'll be right back with you guys tomorrow for a market analysis see you guys tomorrow peace and love we are back with the question of the day this time on this video so as you guys know every video will have a random question about something in the video the question will always be in a random area of the video find a question to find the answer post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month membership to our trading group winners will get selected randomly once the video receives 30 likes over 30 likes got it over 30 Good luck. Here we go, guys. Question of the day is, do you use BitMEX to trade? That's it. Very simple, guys. Drop your uh, answers in the comments. Peace.